Happy, happy Friday. Fridays are for book club. The book I will be covering today is The Body Keep Score by Bessel van der Kolk. So this book talks about how trauma affects your body, okay? And it's so good. I'm just going to cover the first three chapters, the first summary of the first three chapters, and um, I'm going to give a little bit more than I usually give because it's, this book has so much in it, okay? So in the beginning of the book, he was talking about the Vietnam veterans, okay? He was talking about um, lessons from the Vietnam veterans. So I'm going to go into trauma. Trauma victims tend to get stuck in their past and lose their ability to imagine. The, fa the, failure, the failure to imagine means no dreams to pursue, no motivation for a better life, and no chance of enriching relationships with people who matter to them. Traumatized people perceive things differently from other people. For example, a man accidentally bumps a woman in a crowded place. Some women will see it as just an accident, but a sexually abused woman might, might, not look, might look at that incident as a threat. Three decades of research has led to a better understanding of trauma. A traumatic experience leaves an incredible mark on our body, brain, and mind, affecting our core being. Trauma alters our ability to think. It causes severe damage that can, that can only be reversed when the body acknowledges that the danger is no longer there. Only then a traumatized person um, live in the present. So here's the lesson. The effect of trauma can the, the effect trauma on the effect of trauma on people can be a deep seated can be can be deep seated. It haunts the victim even long after the traumatic incident. The manifestation of trauma on returning soldiers and war veterans may be experienced by others who suffer from a different kind of trauma. Physical abuse. Wealth um Alkalides and accomplishments, um, alkalides, yeah, and accomplishments cannot obliviate, obliviate trauma. Issues surrounding the subject matter. What measures or programs have been put in place to counter the effects of trauma? Have you had a traumatic experience? And if you have not, has someone close to you been in trauma? What is it about? So here's the goals. How do you intend to recover from your trauma? Or how do you intend to help your friend recover from the trauma? And some action steps. Describe the traumatic event. Describe the traumatic incident um, you or someone else, someone close to you has experienced. Label your feelings when you were in that situation. Document your, your thoughts and your feelings as you, recall your as you recall your traumatic experience. So you can use a journal and be open and candid about the, your, your description. It, doesn't, it does not matter if, if you write the events in the correct sequence or not. So we got to get it out of us, okay? Chapter two, um, takeaway. Understanding the mind and brain, okay? Studies done so far fail to consider four, fun, four fundamental truths. Healthy relationships breed, breed healthy well-being. Communication all allows us to change ourselves, influence others, and share common purpose with them. We can control our body and brain function. We can help create a safe environment for both children and adults. When we recognize, when we recognize and apply these truths, we can help people heal from trauma and empower them to regain their self-esteem. Okay? Lessons. Number one, healing from trauma can only take place when the victim learns to accept the reality. Number two, people in trauma feel compelled to repeat the experience, hoping to be in control the next time it happens. Number three, the effectiveness of, of anti, anti, um, so this is anti psychotic drugs has not reduced the number of depression cases in the United States. The research of healing trauma interventions must, must consider the need for healthy relationships, honest communication, body and brain control, and safe environment. Issues surrounding the subject matter. What makes it difficult for a, tra for a, tra for a trauma victim to accept reality? What problems does a compulsion to repeat the traumatic experience bring to the trauma victim? 
Number three, why is the number of depression cases rising despite of the discovery of the efficacious anti-psychotic anti drugs? So here's the goal. What should you do to make it easier to accept reality? What can you do to alleviate the ill effects of trauma? So these are just some questions that you can think about. And so your action steps is to create a three-column table on one sheet of your journal and label it addressing trauma. In the first column, write down the actions, the actions um, you have taken to relieve yourself of, tra of, the trauma, of the trauma's pain. On the second column, identicate the effect of the action you took. On the third column, identicate the truth and that, that corresponds to the effect. Okay, that's just something you can, you can start right there. Okay, so chapter three, and I'm going to end after this right here. The neuroscience uh, revolution. Trauma activates the broadman's area, which is responsible for the visual association. This area of the brain records images as they enter the brain, but hearing the voice recording set off the area as if it's the trauma is happening. Flashbacks trigger the brain's right side, which performs emotional, intuitive, visual, and tactical functionings, functions. The left brain disengages and the patient fails to recognize what they are going through is just a, rec a, rec a um, recreation of an experience. Instead, the patient feels the same intense emotions as, the, as if the incident is taking place in, in the present. A threatening situation causes our stress hormones to spike, and these hormones um, is adrenaline. As the adrenaline increases during a flashback, so does the traumatized person's heart rate and blood pressure. It also takes longer for a, tra for a traumatized person's level of stress hormones to return to the normal, to normal, which makes them prone to irritability, lack of attention, long-term health issues, memory problems, and sleep disorders. Some people respond to threat by simply ignoring them and acting as if nothing has happened. The reaction, this reaction can lead to an illness. Others turn to alcohol, drugs, medication to reduce or wipe out the unpleasant feelings. But, they, but the relief they offer is only temporary. Psychotherapy suggests talking as a way of addressing the ill feelings bought by the trauma. However, the effects of trauma itself prevent, prevent productive talk from happening because the rational brain is powerless to coax the, the reality of the emotional, the emotional brain's experience. So here are the lessons. Our brain warns us of, of, imp, of impeding threats and influences our reaction to, to them. In the face of danger, we respond in three ways, fight, flight, or freeze. We experience intense emotions during the flashback because it deactivates the left side of the brain. The intensity during the flashback may be as strong as the experience itself. One of the interventions of dealing with trauma is talk therapy. It may be effective if the, if the, if the emotional brain does not overpower the rational brain. Issues surrounding the subject matter. What, what problems does, does talk therapy present to a trauma patient? What should you do to help trauma patients talk about their experience? And here are some action steps. Encourage and join them in physical activities like running, walking, swimming to burn off their brain's stress chemicals. These activities encourage better sleep so they can relax. To get them to socialize slowly, starting, starting with small, intimate group with whom they can feel safe. Find a way to include funny and amusing stories during this gathering to get them to smile and laugh, which is, good, which is a good stress reliever. When they are ready to talk about their experience, listen to them without interruption. Do not, do not mind the trauma victim if they get upset as, as they tell their story. Remain calm and continue to listen. So here's the checklist for this. Never force a victim to talk about their experience, but assure them that you are there to listen if they're ready to talk about it. Do not assume you know how the person feels or what is going on in their minds because you don't. Avoiding using um, cliches like "look at the brighter side of, of uh, look at the brighter side" or "everything will be okay." Do not insist on do, do not insist on getting them professional help. Each trauma victim responds differently to the same experience. 
So this book, my goodness, I know I just, I know I just gave you a lot. Um, that's why I said I just wanted to do those first three chapters. As I was listening to the book, I was taking notes and I was like, my, my mind was being blown. Like I was learning so many things about trauma and how the body just, the body keeps score, right? That's why when certain things happen, we start to feel it and we just, like, I just, it's just, I don't know what it, what this, it, we don't, we can't even explain it, right? The body keeps score. So it's important to give ourselves the things that we need so we can have healthy lives, right? Have healthy relationships with ourselves and with others. So um, the body keeps score. I will, uh, you know, next Friday, we'll cover the next three chapters. And um, yeah, so just uh, take all this, process it, and use what you can, right? Do what you can with the information that I just shared. Have an amazing Friday on purpose, all right? Till next time.